another science experiment. So, as you can see, the egg experiment's running. Experiment's running. I just did the dye experiment with the milk and everything. <laughs> but now, I'm turning milk into a plastic. This was used in the early 1900s for, like, almost anything. Since they did not have the common plastic. So, I measured out a cup and put it in a microwavable tub. And now I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Okay, so this is hot, so I need just something to hold it. Then I got some white vinegar. and got a tablespoon of it for one cup. Every cup you have, you put one tablespoon of vinegar in to the milk. It's okay if you see this. That's right. Now, you need to really stir up that milk. And I'll tell you when it works. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. And... You should start to see these weird chunks forming. That's good. This chunky stuff is called casein, and it makes up most of the proteins in milk. So we're going to extract that to make our hard plastic. I'm just going to stir a little more until I get some more casein in my milk. All right, I've been stirring it for about 10 minutes, and now we need to extract it. We can just use one of a strainer similar to this one of mine. And I don't believe we're going to need the extra liquid. And make sure you try and get as much as casein as you can. See, there's still some left in my bowl. I'll scrape that off later. Take the, if there's any extra in your bowl, just take it. It's kind of gross looking, I know, and it smells weird. Right now, still some liquid in here. You need to get that liquid out. You're going to really want this to be dry. Right, mine's looking pretty good. Okay, so, okay, so it should look like that in there. Kind of gross, but now let's take this over here. Okay, so then I got out some napkins. You can do this with um, paper towels, too. And you want to get all this stuff out. And um, all of your curved things, and you want to dry them as much as you can. You need this to be as dry as you can. Towels, napkins, as you can see, because it needs to be really dry for it to make this plastic. Now you can mold your thing after you get it out. You can mold it into anything you want. I just molded mine into a quick little ball. It's not perfect, but I mean, it's pretty cool. Now, depending on the size, you're going to want to, um, of your mold, you're going to want to let it sit for a while. Um, I'm going to let mine sit for um, one to two days um, so it can fully harden out. Um, but, so... That's pretty much how you make it, and so it's pretty cool, as you can see. Um, it's going to let it sit there for a couple days, and I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, my mold's finished, and I actually, um, it's been about three days, give or take a few minutes, and I actually had to smash it on my desk. So yeah, and as you can see, super hard, I uh, could barely do that. So now you know how to turn milk into a very hard plastic used in the early 1900s for almost anything.